Hi, this is Shirley from Shirley's World, and I am about to go into uh, the little thrift store in town because this week they're having a fill the bag for six dollars sale. Regular like grocery bags that you'd get at Walmart, <clears throat> that size bags. You can bring as many as you want and fill as many as you want. Each one will be six dollars. So. Uh, I came to this sale last year and got a few things. They're only selling winter things though, but they are selling shoes and boots. So that's what I'm, I'll be interested in. Uh, so you can get quite a bit in those little bags. You'd be surprised. So I'm going in. I'll try to tape a little bit in there. It just depends. Okay. I'm back out from the store. I got three bags full of uh, clothing. I fit at least five or six things in each bag, uh, uh, maybe more, I don't know. But uh, then I went into the children's uh, room and they had a set of books. Those were a dollar each. I think there's five books, so that was an extra five dollars. But uh, I have to go to town now and stop and get a couple things. And then I will be going home and I'll do a little haul video for you. So let's go to town. Okay, I had to go sort of backwards to go forwards back there because uh, it's right about time school is letting out. There's a bunch of school buses around. And I'm taking sort of the side street instead of the main street. Uh, past town here, past the square. The square will be on my left now up here instead of on my right. <clears throat> but I have to stop. I think I'll stop at Starbucks first because I'm hungry and I need a little something before I go to the store. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, stay on the back on the side street here. Faster this time of day. I have a coupon to get my car washed, but tomorrow it is supposed to rain all day. If it rains hard enough, I can put my car outside and get a free car wash. <laughs> so I'm thinking I should try that save my coupon for another time. This is a very, very bumpy uh, side street. Well, I decided not to stop at Starbucks and just go come right to Walmart, which is my least favorite store of all. But I need a big bit a big bottle of magnesium and they're the ones that have the cheapest so that's where I'm going into Walmart hopefully I can get out of here really quick okay I'm back home and I, uh, I was starving. I did not stop at Starbucks, so I missed lunch altogether. So when I got home, it was already close to five o'clock, so I had to eat something. Thank goodness yesterday I made egg salad sandwich. Heaven knows I have enough eggs, so <clears throat> egg salad. So I had an egg salad sandwich and a cup of coffee, which will hold me till late, much later tonight. Um, I wanted to uh, show you uh, what I got and also talk about a couple other things. Um, I will, uh, my cat, the one that has been the feral cat that used to be a barn cat that was getting skinnier and skinnier, I finally got, she was, uh, I got her to go into the crate. And then I shut the door yesterday, this was. 
She just went wild in the crate. I felt so sorry for her. She was so scared and she was just like a wild cat trying to get out of this crate. I almost just let her out and forgot about the whole business, but I did want to, I'm so sure she has hyperthyroidism. She's losing so much weight. Uh, she's like a tiny, tiny, skinny, little emaciated thing. So I um, called the vet. I said, can I bring her up there? I've captured her. And they said, bring her up. Uh, the doctor will be back by 4 o'clock. Well, it was 3 o'clock. So I just tried to calm her down a little bit in the crate. But I then I put her in the car. We got up to the vet about 3.30. And I held her on my lap on the in the crate, of course, and she calmed down a little bit, but she was panting. She her heart rate had to be over 200, I'm sure. And <clears throat> that's not good for a yeah, skinny little cat to uh, get so upset like that. So finally, the vet got back and took her right in, and she saw how upset she was, and she was so stressed. So she says, "All we're going to do is draw blood. Uh, we're going to do minimal exam here." And not get her any more upset than she is. But <clears throat> so the vet tech put my uh, cage or my little carrier can open from the top. So we opened the top and she put a big towel in there and covered her all up, covered her head up. And as soon as she did that, she got real quiet. So she was able to draw uh, the amount of blood she needed, which wasn't very much. And we put her right back. She was back in the crate, and uh, she's just going to leave her alone. So <clears throat> I uh, took her home, and she called me today with the results. And yes, she has hyperthyroidism, and uh, the medication that she will be what we're going to try is the kind that you uh, rub on the ear. It's a uh, it says something dermal medication. The trouble with that is you're not sh positive how much she's getting of it. Uh, she, that she, you're not positive she's getting enough. You ha just have to go by the symptoms. So hopefully, I know she won't swallow a pill for me. I mean, once I try to get a pill down her throat once, she'll never come to me again. So this is what we're going to try, the transdermal medication. So they had to order it. It's not something they keep there. <clears throat> so uh, she'll call me when that comes in. And uh, I brought the cat home. And I opened the door when she saw where she was. She took off to the basement. And I didn't see her the rest of yesterday at all. I went down and tried to find where she hides. Well, she has a hiding place down there, which I could never find. So <clears throat> this morning, though, she came up out of the basement for breakfast, and she was just back to normal like nothing ever happened. And she's been up ever since, and she laid on my uh, lap this afternoon before I went shopping. So that is about the cat. The other thing I wanted to show you was, um, remember these uh, jeans that I got? I showed them, I think, in the last haul. They are these jeans by Christian Christine... Alexander and they had such beautiful uh, bling on them on the pockets were so pretty it's all sparkly well when I went to uh, when I looked at them remember I told you that they had been hemmed when I went to measure them to list them they were two different lengths I mean they were a half inch off I mean there was you could really see it so I thought, what am I going to do with these pants? So I thought, I know a lot of people just buy jeans and make cutoffs out of them and sell them that way. So I thought, well, that's what I'm going to do. So I cut these off onto, into capris. And I put them through the washer a couple times. I'm trying to really fray the bottoms. And they didn't, I think I washed them like three times. They frayed some. But each time you put them through the washer, they'll fray more. So I'm going to sell them like this. As cutoffs, uh, capris. And uh, that's what I had to do with those pants. 
uh, whoever hemmed them, I don't know, maybe, maybe one of their legs was shorter than the other, I don't know, but one leg of the pants was certainly shorter than the other. So, let me show you uh, what I got. Today at the Thrifty Treasures, I think, is that the name of it? Life's Treasures, Life's Treasures. Uh, all week has been uh, fill a bag for $6. You can fill as many bags, and they're the bags that are regular grocery size bags like these, you know, these bags. They're not your big, huge bags. They're those size. Uh, as much as you can stuff in there, you can get for $6. They don't even look through them when you go to the cash register. They just count your bags. So I filled three bags. I got as much as I could in them. I got 17 items in all in those three bags. And three of them were shoes. <laughs> so uh, let me show you what I got. The first place I went was the shoe rack, but the trouble was they were clearing off the shoe racks altogether. And I heard them talking, and after they clear out all this winter stuff, which they'll do at the end of this week, they'll just take it all out. Uh, they take the they take it to a uh, a mission place. I don't know where. They take all their clothes to a mission place, but. Anyway, there were some decent shoes left before she, I got to in front of her before she was pulling them. And uh, let me show you. I got a pair of, these are in really good condition, New Balance uh, shoes. And they are size 7, not the best size, but they're okay. They hardly have any wear at all on them. And they're the trainers, uh, New Balance Training, they're called. So those went in the bag first. And then I found this pair of uh, shoes. They're like a suede. I think they're leather. But they're by Timberland, which is a good brand. I hope this lighting is okay here. Uh, Timberland, and they are a size 8, 8 medium. So that's a good size. And they don't have any wear at all. They were asking $12 for these at the store. They went in the bag. And then this pair of beautiful Ralph Lauren uh, shoes. They had these marked at 10. They are only a size 6 and a half. They are soft glove leather. Soft as can be. No wear at all on them. And... Um, black and they have that uh, this, like this not stirrup the bit uh, design on the front I don't think they've ever been worn Ralph Lauren shoes okay I'll start with the clothes now uh, got this this uh, Harley Davidson this is a women's top long sleeve and it is from a uh, place here in Medina it's called Century Harley Davidson in Medina Ohio so when I counted up my items and how much I spent for the clothes not counting the books because they were a dollar a piece the clothes came out to be just about a dollar each so that's as good as the bins so you can't be beat that uh, here's a sweater. I could maybe tilt the camera down and do it that way. Let's see if that will work without me dumping the camera out. <clears throat> uh, yeah. This is a uh, Tommy Hilfiger. This is cotton and cashmere. I don't know how much of each. It doesn't say right there. It's navy blue and along the bottom has the green uh, stripe. The fat part of the fabric was, well, I think that's the one you're supposed to cut off. Uh, let's see here. 97 cotton and the rest cashmere. So mostly cotton. Enough cashmere to make it really soft. 
It's in a medium. It's in it's a women's sweater. <clears throat> then I saw this Peter Nygaard. I'm not real sure about this brand, but it's such a different uh, little piece. It has the uh, like straps and like a, uh, bits and and stirrups, like a horse related type fabric on here. And the sleeves are are knit, like you can see through these sleeves. So that's why I got it. it. was really different. And they had this marked up to $8. Usually their clothes are $5. So it's a medium women's with those funny sleeves. And it's a high-low. It's higher in the front than the back. And this piece I have seen in there before and I didn't buy it. This is a, a Donald Trump golf windbreaker v-neck windbreaker it has trump written here and it uh just says trump golf on there it's polyester it's a medium men's in this navy blue and it has the uh bottom like that and it has cuffs like this and it was marked up to ten dollars so i picked that up because it was I was getting these things for practically nothing. <laughs> if I would have thought, because I only got, I only picked up one tie, which is kind of dumb. I could have put six ties in the bag. It wouldn't have made any difference. I could have gotten a whole bunch of ties. There weren't that many good ones, but there were this Tommy Hilfiger, and there was another Tommy Hilfiger. I should have gotten it too, even though I don't really sell that many Tommy ties but uh, that was one of the things okay here's a shirt by Orvis a men's cotton shirt it has uh, but, uh, button pockets and uh, this one also has a zip a zip place in the pocket and it has a uh, open back here it's not vented but uh, it just gives you room when you move your arms so, um, this nice cotton Orvis men's medium. <clears throat> Next is uh, this little jacket. This is a small, yeah, just small, not extra small. It's by Cachet. And it looks like a motorcycle jacket. That's what it's supposed to look like. It has all, if this was leather, it would be a motorcycle jacket. But it's this, uh, it's poly and cotton and spandex. Uh, it has epaulets on the uh, shoulders. It has that diagonal type zipper. And um, pockets, zipper pockets, and the sleeves have the zippers on them just like a motorcycle jacket so it's very uh, stylish uh, the tag wasn't on it so I don't know how much they were charging so I'm, I bet it was at least ten dollars so that was went into the bag Then here is a polo Ralph Lauren. This is a women's uh, a women's button uh, front shirt. It's black, slim fit. It's a size 10. Uh, has a white pony on it. So just a nice, neat black uh, shirt and a women's shirt. Here's a men's, uh, this is an uh, at large by, this is Clima Chill, and it is an Adidas brand, uh, turquoise, and it has these little uh, metal things on the back that has to do with, with the Clima Chill 
I'm not sure what it does, but <laughs> uh, it's a short, just a short sleeve like a golf uh, polo shirt. <clears throat> Turquoise. Then here's a uh, brand that I'm pretty sure they sell in um, Anthropology or Urban Outfitters, maybe. Got some strings here I'm going to cut off. It's called Altered State. I have something else that I listed, and I think when I looked it up, it was a, an Anthropology brand. Uh, it's a large, and it's a long tunic uh, tunic sweater. And on the bottom, near the bottom, on the right side, it has a zipper that goes up just that far to open it up. Just something, just a little detail. But it's a long tunic uh, sweater in this black and sort of a beige color. <clears throat> then a pair of women's pants, uh, size 10. I'm surprised these were left. These were marked $10. These are Lily Pulitzer. This lamp is not doing us any good here. It's making things funny. Oh, well, it's no better. It's Lily Pulitzer, believe me. <laughs> uh, in a size 10. Just a pair of cotton Cotton pants, uh, straight leg, has, has a, uh, these are like, must be ankle, let me see, maybe ankle length, yeah, these are ankle length pants, and they have that notch at the bottom, uh, of the bottom hem. Now here is a shirt I've never heard of. And I haven't looked it up yet. <laughs> it's called Irreverent. Irreverent. And it has it got my attention because it has a skull. Skull and crossbones, I guess those are. Or maybe it has to do with pirates. I'm not sure. But <clears throat> it's this black and gray uh, window pane type uh, shirt. In a medium, men's medium, I think it's a men's, pretty sure. And I'll look that up and see if it's anything at all. I don't know. I haven't looked it up yet. I, this is a, a wool zip front, fully lined uh, J. Crew in a medium. This is a jacket. Flat pockets in the front, long sleeves, slit pockets down here. It's just a real uh, nice jacket, except it's full of pilling. But the pilling is around the sleeves and around the hem where it rubs against your body, you know. So it they all pull off really easy. So they will come off really easy with a sweater shaver. Uh, no problem. So I decided to get it. Uh, it had been marked up to $15. So I got that. That's definitely winner. <laughs> but this one, uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, is 100% linen. And this is uh, navy blue in a size 10. It has big pearl buttons, and each one of the buttons has the brand name on it, Lauren. Both that just says Lauren, and it has the pearl buttons on the sleeves too. So uh, a nice little uh, fully lined linen jacket, like a blazer. So that is what I got, except for these books I wanted to show you. I went in the children's room, and I looked. They have a lot of nice books in there. 
I would I could just sit in there and look at the children's books but I was looking sort of for sets of books because I know they do better so I saw this set of books and I looked at it and it's um, the Roy they're by Scholastic the Royal Diaries and they're by different uh, they're different pe people. This is Elizabeth the <clears> First. <throat> this is Lady Palinique. Uh, I don't know anything about her, but uh, she was from 749 A.D. And Jahanara. She was a princess of in, in India. And this Christina, the girl king, Sweden, 1638. These are, uh, and Cleopatra the seventh, daughter of the Nile. Egypt, 57 BC. These are all books, <laughs> and they all have uh, gold around the edges. They're all gold. Now, the, the whole library of these are bigger than these five books. I don't know how many in. I haven't done that much research, but I'm going to sell them as a set of five, I think. And when I looked them up uh, briefly on eBay, they were going in sets. They were going anywhere from $20 to $40. So if I can change $5 into... $30, that would be good with me. So, I got those. And that is was my shopping trip to, to Life's Treasures today. Then I did, like I said, I went to Walmart and uh, got the things I needed at Walmart. Uh, so that's it. When I got home, my electricity had had sputtered enough to, for my computer to go off, so I had to restart my computer, restart my coffee maker, and set reset the clocks on the uh, on the stove and someplace else. I don't know what what why it's a beautiful day out today. I don't know what happened, but <clears throat> anyway, in total, counting the books and tax and everything, I spent $24.55 today. So I think I did pretty good, and it'll give me something to list now. Uh, I don't know if I'll have to go to Goodwill Friday, maybe. Uh, but that's what I did today. And I'm going to close for now, and... Uh, I've been trying my best to see a Netflix movie, and I haven't gotten to see another one yet at all. Uh, but maybe after I get these things, uh, the tags off and take them upstairs, I'll stop for the night and take it easy. And I will, because uh, there's some YouTube things I want to watch too. So I'm going to close for now. Say bye. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share, share my page with your friends and uh, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and it'll notify you whenever I go on. So uh, I know the last video I made about tea time or tea talk or whatever it was, I had somehow switched it over to uh, either unlisted or private, and it never went public until I, somebody said, uh, where have you been, are you all right? So I, w I knew I had just made a video, so I went on, checked it, and here it was in, under private, so I had to switch it, and it went right on again. So I have to check that now every time. I don't know why it switched over like that. So anyway, bye again. I'll see you next time.